first thing to do is to clear out the carport and then clear out the whole parking area. Get all that stuff moved out of the way. And then, oh, and while we're at it, we're going to put a new latch on the box storage area number two. And we're going to try to replace the door on storage area number one. Well, this optionally option did not work and then so we start from scratch pull everything off the door and start over with some two inch thick styrofoam and tin sheets and that seemed to work pretty well so uh i guess that's about it surely there's a better way than this get up in here yeah. and a better way than that but this is cool and you just put it like that and then uh you know, the door that's kind of cool that worked out this worked out and then we clad and styrofoam to start from actually what holds it up. And here we go. This whole thing, let's see. All this new stuff, paint, tools. Got that free. Doesn't have a motor, bandsaw. Turn that into a metal bandsaw. Got materials, tools. Did a lot of cleaning and straightening, and then I had to fill it all back in. As soon as I got about halfway back, then I had to fill it in with all this stuff to get it out of the way. So, there it is. My tiny vice. Four inch vice. Bang. Anyway, let's see this. Let's see this. This is not the best way to be getting up and getting up and down. But there's substantial wooden deck. That's actually cool. But the, this is not going to be good anymore because the dirt's going to be up to here. That puts this whole thing too high. So this whole thing needs to be redone.
So well, we, we know my grate's good and strong. Cause five th over 5,000 pounds went across it. Didn't break. So I don't know what happened with this camera, but uh, there's some firewood. Uh, it's a pretty tall bank now. pile of dirt. One of the main things, you know that thing, Bobcat does that, is that thing bounces, look at the divots, it bounces a little bit, throws that, wants to throw us load. And So this is after. Now comes the fun part. We get to get all this stuff off that trailer and put it back over here. And all this junk over here needs to be sorted out. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay, the thing. We didn't get this done. I wanted to fill that in. This is little. This is soft over here. Soft. You bit that soft. <sighs> and not filled in the way I wanted. But that will do. Someone actually. Watching this, that it's just in case. Oh, just I'm good. <laughs> just in case someone's actually watching this, and eventually decides to uh, to do some motivating crush and run. FYI, just just so you know. I'm just really, I'm glad this part's over and I'm really, uh, really disappointed that I couldn't get any further than this. Do have to do it again? Do I have to do it later? Do more later? Did we go to, the, we went the whole tour, didn't we? Yep. Yeah, we did the whole tour down here. All right then. Ruined one pair of shoes. Did a whole lot of raking and shoveling. Because that... Uh, anyway, don't need to go back to that. It's nice out here today. 
do this. This is what I get to look at. You just sit here. Just sit here. Take a deep breath. Look at the sky. I wonder what the heck I'm going to do next. What the heck's he going to do next? I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty then. Enough for this clip. Next. In order to finish this part of our project, we need to dry in this corner of our carport. Now we already have the extension installed and we're putting up the walls, dry that in. We don't have too much stuff. We have too much unorganized stuff. So I put up a proposal and if I make the shop look like this, we've got really great work area. So here we are closed in, dried in, and all of our stuff moved and reorganized. So what we have here is a nice work area dried in on one side and organized in one corner anyway. So next year I'll start on it again and get it going a little further. Hey.